kinds of happy little things. And just sort of blend them out. Just go on and on. Maybe there's a, see there? Just as many as you want. Or as few. Now we can take our, our brush that has the white on it. And just begin putting some little splashers down here at the bottom. Boop, lift it up. Lift it up. Now we can begin working on all kinds of happy little things. Tell you what I see. Let me get the small knife. I see right in here another happy little stone. It lives right there. Right there. And he's got a friend. Well, tell you what, I got I got another idea. Got another idea. When you're painting these, you just look up here and you see all kinds of things happening. Let's put a little highlight on here. This is just a natural. This is a natural. Let me grab a little white. Maybe this there's another little wave coming here and it's splashing up against the bottom of this and there's just foam and churning and carrying on. See there? That easy. Working layers. Now maybe there's another happy stone right there. He's a little smaller. And we just use a knife. We can put a little touch of highlight right there on him. Go back. Put in some foam around his foot. Brock needs some foam if it's churning over. Now I have sort of blue and white on here. We can begin creating all kinds of little foam patterns in here. Just like so. Follow the angles in your wave. It's most, most important. Maybe here's one spilling over, coming down. Leave some little holes in there. Just like so. All kinds of little things. Sometimes you can, I like to use a fan brush because you can just do beautiful little effects with it. Like so. See how you can make it look all like water. All kinds of little things going on. And you can really get carried away and spend a lot of time making beautiful, beautiful effects. Now then, let's take I'm going to take a touch of paint thinner right into the, the brightest color, that yellow and white. And I want to highlight just these little edges here. Make it come right on down. See there? There we go. And back in here where the light's striking, this, put all kinds of little details back here. This is what really, really makes your seascape stand out. All these little doers. See, let them wander back up through here. And you can, you can just take and put hundreds of these in. Just hundreds of them, just wherever you think they ought to go. See, some in here. This is where you create the, the shape of the wave. Use a lot of paint thinner so the paint is very thin. I think where light would strike in here. See all the little details you can just drop in? That easy. That easy. You can do it. Do you ever think you could make such a seascape so easy? I like these black and white canvases. They, they open whole new worlds to you. You can do all kinds of beautiful little effects. There we go. All kinds of little, little things that are happening in the water. there and you can take the blue and white and put with a liner brush and put all kinds of little watery things dribbling down the side here I think that'll give you a good idea of how to do a fantastic little seascape quite fast so I'll take a little of the bright red we'll sign this one right here it's a good thing I have a short name doesn't take but just a second I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you too enjoy painting along and, and doing a fantastic seascape. And from all of us here, I'd like to wish you happy painting, God bless, and I'll see you next time.